Hi, thanks for joining us again. We're going to go through a Linux demonstration for Ubuntu and Debian-based operating systems, performing a remote wipe for those devices. The first thing you're going to do is log on to the DriveStrike console, go into the dashboard, and select the device that you want to wipe. In this case, it's this virtual machine. The first thing that is going to be displayed is the last action that was executed and whatever the current location is of that device. For this demonstration, we're using a virtual machine, so we're unable to do a Wi-Fi triangulation. Normally, you would see that here. But what we do have is a history of the previous actions that were done on the device and when they were done. Now, we're going to go ahead and issue a remote wipe for this device and then show you what you can expect once you've issued one. Anytime that you issue a wipe, we require that you re-enter your credentials before sending the command, just as a precaution. It's also important to note that we will wipe all USB sticks or external USB drives, so make sure you unplug those if you're doing it on a physical machine. It's not the case on virtual machines, but physical machines it will always be the case, so unplug those before you start. When we issue a remote wipe on a Linux device, the program will delete all of the data on the device and it will become unusable. The user will either initiate a reboot or the wipe will force a reboot on the machine once this is completed. In this case, now the wipe is completed and it is forced to reboot. You'll notice that there is no bootable medium or anything else to run on that system, so the machine has been completely wiped. The wipe process is the same on all Linux distributions, as are the locate and lock commands. You can check out our videos on how to do those, and they'll work for all your Linux devices. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 877-375-2468, or you can send us an email anytime at support at drivestrike.com.